That would be me. Look who we're hanging with. Jason David Frank. Boom shakalaka. Please do not change channel. Hello World Wide Web, welcome back to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm G.W. Pomacher. I'm Christian Basil. And we are at Tampa Bay Comic Con 2018, Hanging With. One of our Hanging With Web Show alumnus, best-selling, amazing, every universe you've ever loved, he's written in, Kevin J. Anderson. Keep going, keep going. Oh, oh yeah, this is, uh, it's, it, it doesn't get any better than that. I'm loving this. this. Is this. Go ahead. The We're creator spend the next of 10 minutes the Word Fire <laughs> Press Publishing Company. The... A uh, one-time record holder for the largest largest book, single author single book, author signing, book signing event. That's right. Um, and if you've ever seen it in a movie, on TV, or read it in a book, he's written in that universe. I promise you. Well, almost. my 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 Little Pony stuff hasn't uh, quite, uh, quite uh, caught, but, caught up with that yet. Yeah. You know, they're not no. calling it. Anything. Come on, um, bronies. We need to get them involved. Yeah. So. And we, you are the one of the busiest authors. Uh, I mean, you are always yeah. I got to get turning. going. See it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The wheels are always turning. Um, last time we talked about twenty, the, the Rush book. I, the oh title, yeah, I yeah. Mean, we, it was twenty one thirteen. Twenty one thirteen. That's right. And we were shooting for twenty one hundred and thirteen pre sales. How did we yeah. do? Um, didn't quite make that, but we still did okay. <laughs> In fact, that's a. It, we blame you. Yeah. You too. Well, it's wow. 21. Th I don't have a copy to show. 2113 is a collection of a uh, collection of uh, short science fiction stories based on Rush songs. Yes. Like 2112 and Tom Sawyer we and Blind Light and all that stuff. So um, that worked out great. And I have a big connection with Rush because my um, my novel Clockwork Angels and yep. Clockwork Lives these were written with Neil Peart, the drummer from Rush. He and I have known each other for I think 29 years. And we did a couple of novels together, the 2113 anthology he was partly involved in. That was and, awesome. Um, and he's just a cool guy, and I've known him for a long time. So Yeah, so it's, well, it's always fun to work with your friends and to be inspired by Yeah, it really sucks to work with somebody you hate. I mean, I've done that. It does. Too, it, does. It, it, does. it work. It really does. Well, um, we have a couple of titles here yeah, with you. Sure. So I'll tell you what. Let's, we're going to start, start with the latest. Movie. This is a graphic novel. Yes. And we have a beautiful... Our, our lovely model here is showing off. That's right. Christian is, is our Vanna White. Right. So I get graphic I, novel. <laughs> and it's very graphic. It's very it? graphic. Um, I co-wrote that with Stephen L. Sears, who was the executive producer of Xena, Warrior Princess. And he's also a well-known TV script writer. He's written on, like, tons of shows from the A-Team and Riptide and She Spies and all kinds of things. See, I told but, you. Kevin writes with everybody in every universe ever made. So Except this, My Little Pony. Yeah, My Little Pony, but then not yet. We'll not yet. We're working. Um, yeah. Stalag X is it's really cool. It's kind of it's human POWs in an alien concentration camp in a future war. So Damn. it's like like Stalag Seventeen, The Great Escape, the old like like German Nazi World yeah, War II yeah. things. But it's on a horrible alien planet. It's a POW camp, and there's a guy. His all you give is his name is Joe Human. He won't tell anything about him. And nobody knows anything about him. The, the other prisoners don't know about him. The, the alien captors are like, who is this guy? And he doesn't want to escape, and everybody else wants he to get out of it. it. He's like so a Hogan, a because, Hogan's Heroes. Well, let's Rebecca. not compare it to Hogan's Heroes. But, um, <laughs> I made it funny. Yeah, wow. he's, he's got, he, this is getting bloody and gutsy and stuff. Yeah. And so Dawson. just think about it, though. So what, what would be worse... Than staying in this alien concentration camp, he knows he's in worse shape if he goes home. So that's the whole big wow. mystery around this guy. And but that doesn't mean he's a traitor. It's just just anyway. be, it's just better to be where he's at. So that's just this really great story of human POWs in this concentration wow. camp called Stalag X. And there's some great characters in there. Um, you know, a lot of the best, that. a lot of the best uh, written art is about uh, more than just the human condition, human suffering. What makes us who we are. Well, and, see, and exploring that's kind of, that in a concentration camp level in a non-threatening and alien environment right. is well, kind of cool. And you know, like like 
the Nazis didn't think of the Jews as humans. They That's did right, all. Yeah. So these are actual aliens that don't understand what humans are, and they're trying to figure it out. No matter how many they have to take apart to figure them out. Um, kind of nasty stuff. Yeah. And there's wow. uh, one one of the alien scientists is doing all these horrible experiments, and so the prisoners have nicknamed him Mingala. And the alien thinks, well, I don't know who that is, but it must be a human hero that they're naming me after. Must be cool, after. right? And uh, wow. it's just some really, really great things. You get to explore we're, some really dark topics in this environment. We're, we're looking at doing uh, either a feature film or, or a TV series with it. We're, again, with Hollywood stuff, you never believe it until you're actually watching it when it's finished. However, I will say, anybody in Hollywood, take my money now. I yeah. want to see this. I mean, that, I'm one. Right. That's one. We only need, what, 300 million more and we're good. Or 2113 of 2113. 2113. We shot for that last time. We <laughs> missed a little bit. It's your fault. Oh, yes. uh, okay, we have we have the, the latest well, uh, collection of Dune stories. Well, and uh, Brian Herbert and I have written 14 books in the Dune universe. And then wow. this is, uh, we finally put together uh, all the short stories that we've written uh, wow. over the years. And it's the very, very cleverly titled Tales of Dune, <laughs> uh, which covers short stories that are over the whole time period of the Dune universe. Yeah. So we've written those. And right now, there's there's a lot of talk about another Dune feature film, Legendary Pictures. We've been is, following uh, that. I know uh, uh, you guys it. have been discussing it on and off here and there. Right, and then Brian and I are involved, and but again, there's no official announcement that I can make yet. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, we look forward to that announcement. But you know, it, you know, it, it, it's Dune time is a, for Dune to be done right. Dune and, is a complex universe, and trying to consolidate that into film is. They've always but had this, a hard time with that. They had a hard time in the 70s. Uh, the right, but Channel, they had a hard time doing The Lord of the Rings, too, until Peter Jackson until did Peter it Jackson right. Until Peter Jackson did it. So right. we can do it right now, and we really have high hopes, and uh, we think we got the right people behind it. So very, That is fantastic. We look forward to an announcement when that happens. We're going to share it. We follow uh, Kevin online. You can follow him on Facebook. You can follow him on Twitter. We're going to put links down below. You can also follow Wordfire Press and all the great, fantastic yep. authors. Um, you, know, you, you can also follow Kevin's cat. Yes. My cat's I've name is Percival that. Lowell Anderson, and he's very cute and ends up getting hundreds of friend requests on his own. So All on his, um, all on his own. The, the, so if you follow the cat, then we can raise enough money to pay for his cat food and his cat toys and his, well, I don't know. Which will keep um, him busy so Kevin can write more. Yeah, that's true. Because we were when thinking he's not Kevin's busy, getting... the cat, he will drag his toys and drop them at my feet when I'm at the desk trying to edit, and he'll look up at me like, what's more important? And, you know, as a cat it, owner, a you cat. know what's yeah. more important. It, it, right? so. it is. It's very distracting. You know, a lot of writers have the same problem. Kevin's cat. Uh, no, because <laughs> it's face, it's social media. Cats own social media just about. So writers will go on to start writing, and then their Facebook will go what off, and they'll get what distracted. What if your cat starts writing? Yeah, well, <laughs> then, I'm, then I'll be happy to be his co-author. But, there you but go. You know, that's the, as an author, that's the frustrating thing. So I'm posting about Stalag X, or Tales of Dune, or Dune movie news, or I'll go on and, and post like lectures on writing advice and I'll talk about the publishing world and then I'll post a picture of Percival the cat and I get a seven million likes instead. You gotta and, love that, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, so we, we know what my fans really want to see. They really do. I mean, we, we talked about 2113 the last time. We begged you all to go out and meet, meet that goal and you came up a little shy, but well over 2,500 people probably liked the last cat picture. So. Well, yeah, so if only we can convert that energy for the power of good. That's right. Uh, for the power of good, you want to read a book. Um, uh, that's oh, a good well, question. Yes. I'll, we'll ask that question. I happen to be a Dan Shambles fan. Uh, that's, yes. my, that's, my, that's my favorite Kevin J. Anderson series. I have been yelling. How, I'm going to yell right directly at him. I've been yelling at my brother in Hollywood, right. telling him we need a Dan Shambles series. Well, we, we might have some interest in that. There's See that? that. See Again, that? Any Hollywood, new Dan Shamble stuff coming out? Well, and I've got, um, last December was the most recent novel. Well, let me back. Dan Shamble's Zombie P.I. is my very humorous dark fantasy mystery series, and he's a, a gumshoe detective, and he's, he's a zombie. He's been killed, but he's back from the dead and back on the case, and he solves crimes with ghosts and werewolves and mummies, and... And it's just, it's stupid. It's Blazing Saddles kind of and stupid. It, it and is, I love it's it. It's hilarious. And it's, um, you, you built a universe, sandals. though. You did the world blazing building. Blazing Sandals? That's, that's what I think I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you Mel Brooks is that, that's 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 You built a great happens. universe, though, yeah. because in your universe, all the monsters are out. Right. And they, and they just have normal lives. They get divorced and they, they, they 
go bankrupt and they lose things, and so you need to hire a zombie a detective. Zombie detective to, do, to follow. But I mean, my, the most so tongue in cheek is yeah, so much fun. Though. The most recent one is called Taste Like Chicken, and it's about a, a flock of demon possessed feral chickens that are trying to take over the city. And the previous I ones are slimy underbelly and hair raising, and uh, and they're just they're good. And I do <laughs> so that's the last novel is Taste Like latest novel Taste Like Chicken. And it looks like I've got another collection of a whole bunch of new Dan Shamble short stories that'll wow. be out in November. That I'm, That's fantastic. I've written them all. They're kind of putting them together right Dan now. Dan Shamble's case files. Well, and but and if you want to catch up on everything, I've been putting together two Dan Shamble novels in one big book. So you can buy like two for one. Oh wow! And we yeah. call them, of course, the Zomnibus. The edition. Zomnibus. <laughs> <laughs> and so the, the, the first one has the first novel, Death Warmed Over, and all the short stories called Working Stiff. Uh-huh. Working Stiff. Um, and then the second one that just came out is the Unnatural Hairy Zomnibus, because it has unnatural acts and hair raising hair in raising, it. Hair raising, yeah. Okay. And then the third one that'll come out in January will be the last two novels, which is the Slimy Chicken Zomnibus. <laughs> The titles just name themselves. They and do. It does. You so know, if it that does all appeals work. to you, if, if you're looking for like sedate, serious, literate stuff, it's that's not, not for it. You. That's not yeah, it. that's not it, guys. Uh, it, it's it's very tongue in cheek. It's very humorous. Uh, but I, I like the the Blazing Saddles description. It really is. This is noir or Blazing, Blazing Saddles. Blazing Sandals. I just I got to get through. Sandals too. I guess I that one you have to look up. Well, on I, and, the and in fact, the, the <laughs> inspiration <laughs> for the zombie detective, the humorous stuff, is look. I'm a I'm a fan of Walking Dead and World War Z and all yeah. the Night of the Living Dead, the horrible, graphic, bloody, nasty stuff. But there's a time where you just go. I've had enough of that. I just want to do Spaceballs version of it. I and last year. Uh, Somebody asked me if I was going to write something this year because I've been doing the show. Right. And I said, yes. I love what we do and I love how serious we take it all, but I want to do the spoof of all the things that we think are cool but are really ridiculous. So I'm in the process of writing right now Zombie Dragons from Outer Space. Okay. Because those That'll are the work. three things that seem to be the hot topic well, in the room. And, and like you watch things like The Big Bang Theory. Yes. And The Big Bang Theory. Everybody else thinks that it's hilarious and extreme and, and really exaggerated. And we go, we know all those guys. I know yeah. all those guys. Every one of we these people is these here. People. This, these are our normal friends, and yes. that's what we normally do. And you really do spend hours arguing whether Next Generation or Classic Trekkers is better. Yeah, and, and you do. Um, and you can just basically put cameras at a convention and get that same thing going. Alan yeah. Tudyk did that a couple of years ago. Pretty oh, seriously. Much. He only yeah. wrote a comedy around it, yeah. so we had oh. Con Man. Um, but yeah, that's, that's fantastic. It is it is our community. These are right. people we, these well, are and, and even though we're wearing like the very spiffy black sport we jacket, do, we have those sport. fanboys really. I mean, he's got, he's got beneath this, we have man. like old Star Wars t shirts, right? Yes. So, the, the, oh, yeah, I've got my Superman, got pin, Superman pin, my there. Hugo Dominee pin. You know, and when, I, I, when, wait, when it comes to shows, and I, if I'm going to cosplay, I always tell them, I'm a journalist, so I just put Superman underneath and I'm good to go. Yep. I'm, I just be Clark Kent all day long. And you put glasses on, and we wouldn't recognize you at all. I. That happens. Until I don't even need glasses to not be recognized. Me. That's how sad that is. Wow. Um, we're gonna, she's going to make us wrap it up. She's going to shake that card. She's the rudest person, but we're going to listen to her this time. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. As we do, want to say thank you to our partners and our friends. This list keeps getting longer and better. Embellish Effects out of Orlando, Florida. Great stuff to get your cosplay needs. Costuming, if you're an actor, stage show, you just need heavy makeup, whatever. Go on over to Embellish Effects. Pound the Grape in Melbourne. Great place to sit and write, by the way. There's okay. a little wine bar. You have a little wine. Relax. Then the writing gets a little sloppier as it goes. It does. <laughs> a little uh, through the well, evening. It does. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's how Dan right. Shambles probably got so ridiculous. It started out a zombie apocalypse, ended up funny. <laughs> Yvonne Mason at Off the Chain Radio. We want to thank you for all your sharing. Famous Faces and Funny Space Coast Comics, Some Unique Magazine. We want to thank Kevin J. Anderson for coming and being a great thank sport you. and hanging all out right. with us. We thank love you, talking to you, man. Check out these books. We're going to put links down below. Yeah. We've got Tales of Dune and Stalag. Yeah. That one, I, I need that and one. And Blazing Sandals. Life. I need Tales of Dune, too, because I have, like, the Dune collection. Sure. That, by the way, that's serious reading. That's not... Yeah, that's Stalag not, X is a little bit more serious than Dan Chandler, but Yes. But I'm a, I'm a diverse writer. Indeed. It, yes. My Little Pony's next. We've got to work on that one. But now we have to do the My Little Pony. See where we're at? I get to co-write with Kevin J. Anderson in My Little Pony universe. As far as you know, I'm telling the truth. we got to wrap it up. So as we do, remember, stay logged on. Stay tuned in. And see, see who we're, we're hanging, hanging with, with next. next. Kevin, thank All you, right, man. Thanks, awesome. man. Awesome.
Thank <laughs> you.